This video tutorial is meant to instruct you on how to use your pencil to both check the proportions of a cubical object that you're trying to draw and also how to check the angles on the corners of that object to make sure that the sides slant the way that they should in your drawing. So the first step is to figure out how big your box is going to be in your paper. This is the box that we're trying to draw and we can see that one side looks shorter than the other from where we're sitting. We can use our pencil to measure this by holding your arm straight, closing one eye, and lining up the end of your eraser with one corner and your thumb with the other so that the entire width of that side of the box fits between your thumb and the end of your pencil. Then we can take this measurement and we can move it over to the other side and see how many times that measurement goes into the longer side of the box. One, two, three. About three times to go all the way across. So our ratio is a ratio of 1 to 3 on our paper. That means that when I draw my box, I want to leave about 3 quarters of the page for the left side of the box and about 1 quarter of the page for the right side of the box. So I'm going to put my central corner right there. Always start with the central corner. That's the lowest point on the box when you look at it, the central corner. Now we're going to draw the other two corners that we can see. When I look up here, I notice that one is higher on the right and the one on the left is lower. We'll see why that is in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and mark where they're going to go, even though I don't have the angle for the bottom yet. I'm going to start with the line on the shorter side here. And then I'm going to measure that space and measure three times over here. One, two, three. So this is where the other corner is going to go. Now I don't know exactly where the top and bottom should be yet. In order to figure that out, I'm going to have to check the angle on the bottom of my corner. In order to do this, I recommend using two hands, but since I don't have a free hand right now, I'm just going to use one. Holding your arm straight and one eye closed, you can see the angle, how one side slants up at it looks like about a 30 degree angle, and the other side much more steeply, maybe a 60 degree angle. So when we draw it down here, we want to use a similar angle. Uh, we can even make a very light horizontal line right there at the bottom of that corner so that I can see that angle. This one we said was 60 degrees. Don't worry about the numbers, uh, we just want to make sure that it's more than a 45 degree angle. It's going to be about that steep. And then the other one was definitely less than a 45 degree angle. So we're going to make that slant much less steeply, about like that, that would probably be good. Alright, so now we've got the right proportions, we've got the right angle. All we need to do is add the top. Now to figure out how high the side of the box should be, we can measure this again using the pencil measure that side that first side that we measured before and see how many times does that measurement go up the side two times so that means that on our paper the corners of the box should be two times longer than that width so it should go one two about there a little bit higher than what I already did about right there um, then if I check that measurement and I make each corner the same length then I know that I'm going to be roughly parallel and if I draw that line there I can make sure that that line is parallel to the one below it remember the key to drawing a cube is that the sides should be parallel the top needs to be parallel to the bottom and then the back side over here needs to be parallel to the front. So just draw a nice straight parallel line there and then the side over here needs to be parallel to the front side that we see there. And so then there's our box. We want to make sure common mistakes that people make the top slants up too much. So always make sure that these three lines are parallel while these three lines are parallel as well. And of course these lines should be vertical, straight compared to the edge of your paper. 
And of course, we can also add some extra details if we want to. Right in the middle of that space, we can add the flaps of the box right there, kind of cutting across it. And then we can add the side of the box right here on the side. And that looks nice too. So, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. That should help you get your boxes drawn correctly.